I've had Briar, my Plains Hognose, for just over two months, and in that time I have formed a lot of opinions. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing my first impressions on these dramatic, adorable, shovel-nosed colubrids. Oh, listen, honey, if I told you about the way that I fell. Hey everyone, my name is Hunter Hauk, and this is Briar, my tiny little Plains Hognose snake. She is over a year, but only weighs 13 grams. She's a tiny little thing, and that is because of her kind of rough start to life. Um, I talked about it in my unboxing video, which will be in the Hognose playlist linked at the end of this video, but in today's video, I'm going to be sharing my first impressions after owning a Hognose snake for a couple of months. A lot of people personally recommend Plains Hognose snakes as the best pet snake for a first-time snake owner, but honestly, I highly disagree with this opinion. In the wild, we don't exactly know what Plains Hognose eat because they eat a variety of things, but they're very reclusive, so it's pretty hard to study it. For the longest time, people thought that they ate exclusively toads in the wild, but a 2016 study of a large number of hognoses in Illinois found that we were actually very wrong about it. Plains hognose snakes of this size eat mostly small lizards and their eggs. The same study found that adult plains hognose snakes in the wild eat primarily aquatic turtle eggs and, you guessed it, toads. So we weren't completely wrong. They do eat some toads, but that's not the bulk of their diet, at least not in Illinois. Now, like I said, we don't know where, what they eat everywhere because there just hasn't been a ton of research on them, and that kind of leads to the first thing that I'm going to be talking about, which is the fact that they can be very picky eaters. Before Briar went to the rescue that I um, actually co-founded, but that I adopted her from one of our fosters, she had not been eating at her former home for several months, and that is because they were trying to feed her pinky mice, which she just wasn't having any of, and they weren't willing to take any extra measures to help her eat them, so anyways, now she is eating, but I think that since pinky mice, or mice in general, aren't their main prey in the wild, they can be kind of challenging to convince to eat in captivity, especially as babies. Now she is eating frozen thawed pinky mice just fine now, but it took some work to get her there, and that is the reason why I don't think that they are the greatest first pet snakes. Moving on, I do love hognose snakes' attitudes, especially as babies. So once they realize that humans are not the scariest, most dangerous things in the world, hognoses are typically just fine with handling, like Briar here is right now. But until then, they are so sassy, and they like to flatten out their necks because I guess they think that they're a cobra, it's some sort of Batesian mimicry, but it is just so funny. Sometimes, especially as babies, they'll also flip over on their back and play dead, which she has only done this once, and it was while she was eating because she heard something, I guess, and flipped over on her back and played dead, but it is not very convincing because they still try to act like a cobra and wiggle their tail around and stuff while they're doing it, so it's more funny than anything, but they think that they are very fierce little creatures. All in all, I think that hog noses can become very handleable, just like Briar here, and so my first impression of that is that they are awesome. I think that hog nose snakes are awesome also because of their size. As babies, they're pretty tiny, but when they're adults, they're not too small, but they're also not too big. Adult hognose snakes typically get between 15 and 26 inches, with the males being smaller and the females, like Briar here, being larger. Now, since they are colubrids, it's pretty easy to tell that Briar here is a female, but I, since this is the first time I've owned a snake, I wanted to double check that, and I actually sent a piece of her shed skin to a lab to be DNA tested, and she is for sure a female. So, 
she will need a 40 gallon tank as recommended by Reptophiles when she is an adult. And right now she's in a 20 right there and I think that that's perfect for her but I cannot wait to get her in a super awesome naturalistic 40 gallon tank as an adult. It'll be very exciting and very fun. She's so cute, oh my goodness. Before we talk about the fact that hognose snakes are technically rear-fanged venomous, which you may or may not have already known, tell me in a comment down below if you have ever held a hognose snake. If so, what was that experience like? And if not, tell me if you've held any other types of snakes. I love hearing from you, so definitely leave a comment down below. We're gonna talk next about handling hognose snakes. Now, hognose snakes technically are rear fanged venomous. Their back teeth have little channels so that when they chew on their prey, they can kind of chew in the venom and help kill their prey a bit quicker, which is a great advantage to being a hognose, I guess, compared to some other colubrids. Like some other colubrids, that is because they have a gland, I guess like right here, called a Duvernoy's gland, which produces a super mild venom. I have never been bit by a hognose snake, but most people say that it's similar to a bee sting, but some people are more allergic, so be careful. Of course, this is not medical advice, obviously. This is a YouTube video on the internet, but I've got to put that disclaimer out there anyway. But yeah, just be careful when you're holding a hognose snake but it's very rare that they do bite a human unless they think that they are food. Now, on the other side of handling, unlike mini colubrids, which are very fast moving, looking at you corn snakes, um, hognose is, as you can see, she's just kind of wiggling her way in between my fingers and hanging out on my hand here, which is awesome because I can just not really have to think about her too much while I'm just holding her and talking to the camera and as you can see, she is tolerating it very well. Typically, I don't handle her super often for super long amounts of time, but when I am holding her, say, to film a video, she is just fine with it, and she does tolerate it very, very well. Honestly, just their adorableness and handleability is my favorite part of owning a hognose. Baby, with all of that said, I'm gonna wrap up this video. All in all, I think that hognose snakes are absolutely wonderful animals. Are they the best pet snake for a beginner reptile keeper? Probably not. Am I glad that I got one for my first pet snake since I'm experienced with other reptile species? Absolutely. I love hognose snakes so much. They're not too big, but not too small, and they're pretty slow moving, so that's great. Their bite can pack a punch but it's very rare that they do bite a person. All in all, I think that hognose snakes are awesome, and those are all of my first impressions on hognose snakes after owning one for about two months. I guess a little over two months, actually. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so that I can continue making videos just like this I think that you all really love when I make Plains Hognose videos, and I would love to make more of them, so let me know down below if you want me to. If you want to support the channel and get some super cool reptile products, head to my store, which is Shop Hunter Hawk. That and everything else I mentioned will be linked down below. I want to say a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters for making all of my videos possible. I really appreciate each and every one of you and your support. Head to Patreon if you want to get some exclusive content, behind the scenes photos, and even bonus merch every single month. It's awesome. We have a great community over there, so I would really appreciate it. Once again, my name is Hunter Hauk. This is Briar, my Plains Hognose. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.